Good evening, men, fellow retainers of YouTube. It's December 23rd, 2022, 5.20 p.m. The picture or thumbnail you see is an actual picture. I'm sitting in my car looking at the sun going down, the orange glow over the horizon. I'm waiting for some Uber Eat orders to make a little extra money here. I don't have kids. I live alone. I'm single. I got to admit, sometimes I'm lonely. But, you know, we have Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and I'm feeling so grateful right now, guys. So grateful for my condo, my my health. Even though it's not perfect, I can walk and move. I, I'm good looking. I'm, I've slimmed down. I'm, my clothes fit good. You know, I'm doing Uber Eats deliveries in my Chevy Volt and making some extra money. I had a great Christmas party with my company I work for this afternoon. We had a lot of fun and fellowship and ate some good ribs and good food and dessert. And it was fun, guys. And I'm so grateful for what I have. And then I wanted to look up Bible verses about being grateful. So. Jonah 2.9, but I with shouts of grateful praise will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed I will make good, I will say salvation comes from the Lord. Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Colossians 3.17, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, he gives us victory. Satan wants to kill us. God wants to give us victory. All we have to do is retain and obey him. Let's slay all the demons of lust, anger, fear, depression, disease. We rebuke those demons in the name of Jesus. And then we have victory through Jesus Christ because we're obedient. <clears throat> Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. We do praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Guys, if you're a Christian, know this. He will never stop loving you, even when you're a sinner. And that means forever. It says his love endures forever. For although they knew God, they, ne they neither glorified him as God nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking came but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. <clears throat> Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And you know the other video I made, when you're righteous, he answers you. But he won't answer you if you're sinning. <clears throat> Psalms sixty-nine thirty. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. 2 Corinthians 9.15 Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. You know what that gift is? Salvation and eternal life. All you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ. There's no way to earn it because it's a free gift. It's his grace. 1 Thessalonians 5.16.18 Rejoice always, pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> I think I read this one already, didn't I? Colossians 1.12 And giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Well, to me, that means when we die and leave the matrix and leave our dead fleshly bodies behind, our souls will go, we'll get the inheritance and we'll be in the kingdom of light forever with the Lord and all the other peoples and all the angels and saints all together. Wow, guys, wow. James 1, 17. 
Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He doesn't change. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. When you sacrifice a thank offering to the Lord, sacrifice it in such a way that it will be accepted on your behalf. Psalms 103, verse 2. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. You guys know the benefits of retaining your seed. They're physical and, more importantly, spiritual. And God will answer your requests when you pray and ask. One more, guys. Daniel 6.10. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Well, guys, an early Merry Christmas. Be thankful for what you have, even if it's a little bit. i got to admit, I've been an envious person and I live in this really nice area of Orange County, California, and everyone around me is very wealthy, you guys. Million plus dollar homes. And uh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, they drive $100,000 cars, and I, I've been very envious of them, but I'm not anymore because I've got my little 600 square foot condo. I, I have a mortgage on it. I've got my Chevy Volt. It's a great little car. I've got my job. I've got my health and looks. I've got my little Uber Eats side job. I've got a little bit of money in the 401k, not enough to retire. Maybe a few years it'll pay. <laughs> oh, but you know what? We we got to be thankful, guys. Thankful for the for the Lord's blessing and what he does for us. Happy holidays. I hope everyone is uh, having a good night. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.